Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Cassia. Today we're gonna share a well-known Bible story, one of the miracles performed by the Lord Jesus. Five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people. Although many people know this story, and very few know the Lord Jesus' intention hidden behind this story. This actually reveals different pursuit of believing God, which determines the success or failure of our faith. It is worthy look into and discussing. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's read the following passages of the scripture. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, "There is a lad here." Which has five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, "Make the man sit down." Now there was much grass in the place, so the man sat down. In number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were sat down. And likewise of the fishes, as much as they would. When they were filled, he said to his disciples, "Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost." Therefore they gathered them together, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above to them that had eaten. From the story, we see the unique authority and the power of God, which increases our confidence in God and strengthens our conviction that the Lord we believe in is the only true God. But did the Lord Jesus perform this miracle just merely to show us the authority of God? Within everything God does, there is His will, and there is truth for us to seek. Actually, this story can help us understand what kind of people God blesses and is pleased with. There's a couple of things we should consider here. I've got a question. One, and what type of people did the Lord Jesus feed with five loaves and two fish? Is the Lord pleased with them? Let's look at two verses and a spiritual passage. That will help us understand it. And the great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. Jesus answered them and said, "Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled." When the Lord Jesus saw these five thousand people, they were hungry and could only think of filling their stomachs. So it was in this contest that the Lord Jesus satisfied their desire. When He satisfied their desire, what was in His heart? What was His attitude toward these people that only wanted to eat their fill? At this time, the Lord Jesus' words and His attitude. Were in relation to God's disposition and essence, facing these five thousand people with empty stomachs who only wanted to eat a full meal, facing these people full of curiosity and hope for Him, the Lord Jesus only sort of utilizing this miracle to bestow grace upon them. However, He did not raise His hopes that they would become His followers. For he knew that they just wanted to join the fun and to eat their fill, so he made the best of what he had there, and used five loaves of bread and two fish to feed five thousand people. He opened the eyes of these people who enjoyed seeing exciting things, who wanted to witness miracles, and they saw with their own eyes the things that God incarnate could accomplish. From these words, we can see that the five thousand people who ate the loaves did not seek the Messiah's coming, 
they didn't have a thirsty heart for what the Lord Jesus said. They just heard of what the Lord Jesus had done, and they wanted to satisfy their curiosity to see the miracles. And at the same time, they wanted to ask the Lord to give them material grace to fill their belly. So they were just a group of people who asked to fill their hunger, not those who truly follow the Lord, right? But on the contrary, and how did the disciples deal with the matter of the first coming of the Lord Jesus? When many people left and rejected the Lord Jesus, and how did Peter answer the Lord when he asked it, his、uh, twelve disciples about their viewpoints? Then Simon Peter answered him, "Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that you are that Christ, the Son of the Living God." Peter followed the Lord Jesus to preach and work in various places because he thirsted for the truth. It was never the Lord preached. He listened to the sermon attentively, and recognized the identity of Lord Jesus from Lord Jesus' words, and he believed that the Lord had the authority to bestow eternal life upon men. Well, these are two types of followers that were revealed distinctly back when the Lord Jesus came on earth two thousand years ago. The second question: What are the different attitude of the Lord Jesus toward those who only seek bread to satisfy their hunger and his disciples? Well, let's read the Bible verse and the passage. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Lord Jesus did, said, "This is of the truth that prophet that shall come into the world." When Jesus therefore perceived, and they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. Although the five thousand people who had the loaves of bread and the fish did not plan to follow the Lord Jesus, he made no exacting demands of them. Once they had eaten their fill. Do you know what the Lord Jesus did? Did he preach to them at all? Well, did he go after doing this? The scriptures do not record that the Lord Jesus said anything to them. Just that he left quietly when he had performed his miracle. So, did he make any requirements of these people? Was there any hatred? No, he warned none of this. He simply no longer wanted to pay any mind to these people who could not follow him, and at this time his heart was in pain, because he had seen the depravity of mankind and he had felt mankind's rejection of him. When he saw these people and he was with them, he was saddened by human obtuseness and ignorance, and his heart was in pain. All he wanted was to leave these people as quickly as possible. The Lord did not make any requirements of them in his heart. He did not want to pay them any mind, and even more, he did not want to expend his energy on them. He knew that they could not follow him. But in spite of all this, his attitude toward them was still very clear. He just wanted to treat them kindly, to bestow grace upon them, and indeed, this was God's attitude toward every creature under His rule: to treat every creature kindly, to provide for them and nourish them. For the very reason that the Lord Jesus was God incarnate, He very naturally revealed God's own essence and treated these people kindly. He treated them with a heart of benevolence and tolerance, and with such a heart, he showed them kindness. Through this miracle, we can also see the pain in the Lord Jesus' heart, 
When he came to this group of people who sold bread to satisfy their hunger, no one could understand his well. People just want to see him perform miracles out of curiosity, and demanded material blessings from him. Yet the Lord Jesus saw how pathetic, depraved mankind was, and felt the rejection from men. And just like、uh, parents facing their own kids who do not know their parents, nor do they have the heart to love their parents and accompany them. In their heart, they only want to get material support from their parents. And how would parents feel about this? Yeah, the heart of the Lord Jesus was extremely hard. He did not want to speak anything else to these five thousand people, but he treated them with kindness and mercy, made their demands, and、uh, gave them food to eat. And after these people were full, the Lord quietly left. The Lord avoided and stayed away from such people, and bore the pain caused by mankind alone. But when facing the disciples who truly follow him, he continued to express the truth to supply them, so that their spiritual life could grow. Because most of them followed the Lord sincerely and sought to know the Lord. Especially the apostle Peter, who was a pioneer and、uh, example of loving God, he paid attention to Lord Jesus' words and understood. More truths. He recognized his shortcomings, sought to grow his inner life, and became the one who obeyed, knew, and loved God, and ended up being crucified upside down for God. The Lord also chose Peter to entrust him with the commission of shepherding God's sheep, and gave Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven. From this. We can see that those who sincerely believe in God and pursue the truth can gain God's approval and gain the truth and life. Self-reflection: What do we learn from this story? The first coming of the Lord Jesus revealed two types of people: those who seek bread to satisfy hunger, and those who love the truth and seek to know the Lord. So, what about us today? Among those who follow the Lord, who are similar to the five thousand who seek the bread to satisfy hunger, and who are those that focus on the truth? Some people just regard their belief in the Lord as a kind of spiritual sustenance to fill the emptiness in their heart, and some people read the Bible every day, but never practice according to the Lord Jesus' words, and extravagantly. Hope to be blessed by the Lord and enter the kingdom of heaven effortlessly. Yet some people believe in God only to be blessed by Him, and all that they have been seeking is nothing but peace, comfort, prosperity, and success. Yet they don't even bat an eye on the requirements of the Lord. Then is there any difference between them? And the five thousand people two thousand years ago, can such faith gain God's approval? Brothers and sisters, what can we do to become people after the Lord's heart, like those disciples? In fact, God has already told us the answer. The Lord Jesus said, "Therefore, take no thoughts, saying, 'What shall we eat, or what shall we drink?'" Or well, withal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. But seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have, that no man take your crown. God's words tell us very clearly that only those who truly believe in the Lord do not seek material riches and enjoyment. Rather, 
they long to see the Lord's kingdom realized on earth, hoping for justice and focusing on pursuing the truth to be in line with God's will. Now the prophecies about the second coming of the Lord Jesus have been fulfilled one after another, and those who truly believe in the Lord start to actively seek the truth in terms of the second coming of the Lord. Such people are those who stay vigilant and hunger for the truth, and such people will have the opportunity to welcome the Lord's return and be brought into the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, through the story of five loaves and two fish, do you see what kind of people we are supposed to be so as to be in line with the Lord's will? If you find this helpful and you want to know more about the second coming of the Lord Jesus, please subscribe to our channel and you are most welcome to join our online fellowship. Well, there will be more preachers sharing more truths regarding this topic. And we are looking to see you there. See you in our next video. Bye.